Okay, well, today's installment of the Bloomberg Billionaires Club profiles a Canadian clown turned entertainment mogul Guy Laliberté. As founder of the world's most popular circus Cirque du Soleil, Laliberté is in a league of his own. So my colleague Margaret Brennan sat down with the billionaire on the opening night of his latest show, Zakana. It's a billion-dollar big-top circus with 5,000 employees and performers in 47 different countries. Cirque du Soleil is a global entertainment empire run by Canadian producer Guy Laliberté. 1984, Quebec. Then 23-year-old La Liberté was a street performer, making a living as a fire eater. He had the spark of an idea to create his own circus troupe. When we were a bunch of kids coming out of the street, long hair down the butts, and uh, <laughs> trying to sell uh, the first circus, Canadian circus. He negotiated a million-dollar contract with the Canadian government to perform in celebration of that country's 450th anniversary. The first year was a business deal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important for me that people understand that because it was a tough one. The show was a success, but it took La Liberté another seven years to hit the jackpot. In 1991, gaming mogul Steve Wynn brought Cirque to the Las Vegas Strip. We conquered uh, Las Vegas. You conquered uh, Vegas. Well, we have seven shows at 8 1, so we're the biggest producers there. Cirque du Soleil sells more tickets to its performances each year than all Broadway shows combined. And now, Le Liberté wants to conquer New York. He's spending $50 million to install Cirque's latest show, Zarkana, at Radio City Music Hall. He took us backstage on opening night. This is the biggest show ever to, to be brought here. Le Liberté personally owns 80% of the Cirque empire, which will bring in $1 billion in revenue this year. Bloomberg estimates his fortune to be at least $2.7 billion, which makes him one of the richest men in the world. But Le Liberté says he fantasizes about clowning around the streets once again as a penniless performer. Le Liberté is a man of extremes. You pay $35 million? Yep to go to the International Space Station. What an amazing opportunity. Why did you do that? This came as an opportunity to do something for myself. For one time, taking time to sit down, listen to people, being told what to do instead of telling what to do. After an intense six-month training program, La Liberté became the first clown in space. I told myself, you know, I'm there for 12 days. I could sleep back on Earth. I want to chew on every minute that I have. I was like a little kid in the candy store. La Liberté took over 10,000 photos, which he turned into a book entitled Gaia. Proceeds from the book will support OneDrop, a foundation La Liberté created to improve access to clean water in impoverished countries. La Liberté's wealth has provided him with the opportunity to give back, but he says he'll always be an entertainer at heart. You know, I have the best job on the planet. I'm entertaining people. This is a love relationship with the whole public. Uh, we make them happy. Uh, it's fantastic.